in here in Kansas and I do what it was even that would be. And it starts, you know, um, it, it starts his practice. And when and as he's doing it, everybody is scared, like ah, what's going on? What's going on? Is he trying to flood people? And when he's done, he now stands up, he now begins to share something to everybody that uh come and come and come and uh, how will I even put it? And then he's like, ah, come and join us, something like come and like just come to me, convert to my religion. Come and worship, let me say Ovin, because it's only Ovin that I know, because that's where I'm from. Come and Ko worship Ovin. Ovin, 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 and you know, and it's just annoying. And the man comes, keeps doing that almost every day, every day, every day. Because I know someone that has experienced something that's similar, but it was about it was someone that was an Islam, it was not Baba. And the person kept, you know, talking about that thing. And she was telling her, I do not want, so I do not want, like, you know, is it by force? And when we had that conversation, she said she's not even going to uh, complain too much because a lot of Christians do that. A lot of Christians do that. A lot of Christians are. And especially Africans, because Africans are more religious than spiritual. They are so dedicated to a religion so much than their personal relationship with God. And she was not so now saying that she's not even going to complain too much because a lot of Christians do that. A lot of Christians, like she was telling me about how one time she was in an airport with her uh, with her with her cousin. And maybe the way they were playing, one woman, one woman, I think she's also an official, she thought that they were boyfriends and girlfriends. She now came to us and said that do you know that people that have a boyfriend and girlfriend do not they will not make it to heaven. Do you know that? She was not talking in a way that was not embarrassing. She said, no, man, this is my cousin. And I said, oh, oh, I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you because you know, we, you know, we hear you about secrets. So mm. she was not like, if it was in the U.S. that she was so that woman, that why are you invading in my privacy? So a lot of Christians do this and it's not right. But I spoke to this uh, um, to somebody in the conference and the person said, no, it's right. And I'm like, hey, okay. Oh. And I'm not, I'm not about to not ask her, right? I'm not saying that they are forcing it, but is it is it is it right to invade people's privacy? They said they don't want to hear you still give them the track. They said they said maybe maybe it's a very quiet area. You say no noise, you still carry my microphone and you'll be shouting for two hours. So sometimes, because obviously they are humans and can you know make mistakes, even thinking you're doing the right thing. But sometimes, do you think because I think that, but do you think that Christians evangelize in the wrong way and how? And if you if, and if you think it's not wrong, if you are saying no, 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 it's not wrong. Because God said we should spread because God did not specify how. Then fine. But if you think so, why and how do you think that some people could do it in the wrong way? So we don't we don't just preach the word. So we actually, you know, we're actually practical about it. Amen. Amen. Pastor Bimbala should be able to help us. <laughs> Pastor Bimbala, are you here? Are you? Are you here? Me or uh, Pastor? You need to unmute, okay. ma'am. Okay, I understand what, yeah, I understand what she's <laughs> trying to say. Okay. I also want her to know that if you have lived in, a, in an area where, where you are living next to a mosque, you know that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is nothing you can do about That <laughs> yes. one gone go in violation of privacy. Yes, exactly. Especially during fasting period. Ah, oh hey. <laughs> <laughs> And nobody is doing anything about it. Uh -huh. so nobody is saying no. There is no. There is a freedom of religion. One mm -hmm. of those freedoms that we have. Uh -huh. Yes. If the Baba Lao decides to be doing what he is doing, mm -hmm. that is his business. Whoever wants to accept will accept. Absolutely. Uh -huh. If he, yeah. So the Christian has an equal right to do whatever he or she is doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but sometimes it could make somebody uncomfortable. Like, you know, like, like. Like for example, like in that verse, the Bible will make you incantations would make you feel uncomfortable. And I feel like before an a, a child of God should say something to someone, they should either have um um they should either be sent by the Holy Spirit or ask for the person consent before they just put their mouth in the person's matter. Because I feel like doing that, you are not you're not living by what you are preaching. Just Anna, like Auntie let me um, let me say something. I right forgot her name last week. She was saying talking about how. Her, her gay cousins, she doesn't know to condemn them. But a lot of Christians, a lot of Christians would most definitely condemn and be like, ah, you, you know, you go to hellfire. So that way, yes, they're preaching because the, they're not doing it in the right way. And I feel like a lot of Christians make that mistake. And they think they're building their crown in heaven, but well, you probably even lost the soul. Hmm. Well, what I, what, I, what I want to say about this is that um, 
as people have freedom to of speech, people people also have um, that freedom to decide what they want Absolutely. to hear. Absolutely. Yeah. If you do not want to hear what he's saying, and you have no right to shut that person up. Mm-hmm. And if you cannot shut that person up, what do you do? You have to shut your own ears. Absolutely. Just as the Kabbalah would think that is in the bus, mm-hmm. definitely you will not want to be. Okay, let me give you an example. You know, I told you about my cousin that passed. Today is the, is the or whatever that they do. And mm-hmm. when they were doing it, they were saying, they were doing all their whatever thing. And it was in the middle of the night here that I had to tune in because they are doing it in Nigeria. Now, mm-hmm. got to the state that I got tired and I had to go to bed. No matter what, I don't even want to listen. I know this Zoom thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know whether it happens in your own device. There is no way you can silence it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You will still hear. Yeah. No I matter mean, what. Yeah. 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 And I'm like, look, I'm working all day. I don't want to sleep. I don't want to be hearing those things in my sleep. I have to take the thing to another room. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I hope nobody's listening. <laughs> so like, can you my sleep? So you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want it to go resonate into my spirit, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. And into my mind. So yes. you have to do what you need to do to switch off your mind. Absolutely. If you don't want to hear me preach mm-hmm. in the bus, over your ears. But some people, when they don't want to hear you preach, they they they, they make a lot of um, a lot of um, remarks to yes. uh, like uh, uh, to discourage you or yes. whatever, whatever. But as a preacher. Go on preaching. Mm. Do what you need to do. If it's only one person in that bus that will be saved, they'll mm. be rejoicing in heaven. Amen. So okay. there's nothing like nobody is going into my privacy. You leave. <laughs> it's just one person on your neck now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they have the, call, they have the uh, avenue mm. to escape. We no, we do not escape. It's like, okay, it's either I shoot you or you go away. They mm. will go. Mm-hmm. So all these things, like somebody's in my in my know, somebody's in my privacy. Is in my <laughs> somebody is in my space. I, I think, I it's, think... It's, just an, it's just an excuse. Mm. Of okay. the Apart from that, Pastor Bimbola, I think that has to do with the you know countries like here where you yeah. say oh you have your privacy, don't don't yes. come into my. No, we we're, we're talking about preaching the gospel right here. You don't know who you are preaching to. That way, that God will convict right there. Mm. So we because as we have they are not in their they are not in their home. The place uh-huh. where a man can claim a privacy hundred ah. hey. percent is you enter his house like his Jehovah's Witness to uh-huh. and you say, Yeah, I want to enter your house and you begin to do stuff right inside their own space. Uh-huh. That is your space. Yeah. Okay. But I am in the mall I'm preaching, I am complaining. Mm-hmm. So you know how smoke. I <laughs> wonder <laughs> so I think that's how it is. I think you look at two why you shame up. Boom, on fan when you're near opportunity. Like, no, this is what I want to do. I have my I have my rights. You they know, can, they, can, they, can, they can make that noise while I'm preaching. Ah. As long as I'm not hmm. violating the, the laws of, of, of the environment, I'm not supposed to say anything anywhere. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. They can make the noise. Mm-hmm. Because I can cope with the noise. Me, I preach about noise. So. <laughs> Let me give you an example. There was this um, woman's burial. So my church was invited to come and do the uh, wakeeping, and I I did it. I did all the program and everything, everything. They printed it out, blah blah blah. And we went, me and one other lady, the lady, the, the pastor. And we went there, and by the time we started taking the service, these people are from the Hebrews, and they, they were ready to. They are people of the world, really. Mm. So they were there. They started tripping in. And they were there with their hot drinks and their wines, and they, they, and there was so much noise. Yeah, I was a mighty well, man. Was noisy, and man. We making noise. Mm. Above it, I kept saying the word. I, I, because God had given me a message, and I kept preaching the message. Mm-hmm. So the lead pastor now was like, ah, "How were you able to do that? Sir? Ah, <laughs> she cannot. She won't, she won't have been able to." Do anything that environment so that thank God that you know she was led to tell me that I should be the one to do the preaching, you know. Above it, I was just in my own. Mm-hmm. She yeah. had my cocoon. And <laughs> there was a lot, I'm talking of a mighty hall, one of the biggest halls we have here. Mm. And you can imagine how many people were there and they were doing their stuff. But do you know what? Hmm. The people that heard heard. Mm. The people that listened, listened. Mm. And I'm sure a lot of people got born again that day. Of course, about the student. Why? 
years later, when I met that pastor, she told me, said, ah, hey, I can't imagine that she went for one week in pain. That it was everything, the, the program that I made, the only thing they managed to do is to remove the picture of that woman and put the picture of the, of the person that died. <laughs> you know, yeah. everything word for word. Yes, the songs, yeah. And the songs I chose were not common songs. I didn't even know them. God just told me the songs and I went and checked and they were not even common songs. I had to learn to sing them and I had yeah. to teach the pianist. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He said everything from the beginning to the end. The only thing they did was that they changed the woman's, they removed that woman's picture that I put there. They put another one. And that time she came, anyway, she had seen about three, that is because she attended only three of those, three mm. pamphlets like that. Wow. So if they had not been blessed, uh -huh, they've been doing wikipedia, they've been wikipedia here, be, uh, every day here in America. Mm. Mm. It won't have been something there, and they are holding, as she was saying, hey, maybe you should just go and get copyright, blah, blah, blah. So no, no, no. It's a work of God, let them use it. Mm. Amen. So if that thing did not matter to them, those people that took it and mm. copied it, they mm. are party going people. They would have been going for parties every time. But the moment they had their own wake up in their mother's dying or their father, old father's dying, they just use that thing. Wow. And that thing will continue to haunt them if they are not born again till now. Mm. Okay. So just do your own. In the midst of the noise. Everybody would have felt, what is this my shouting? Nobody's even listening to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're not going to be listening to it. 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 You're not going to be so if anybody mm. felt I was in their space that time, they were free to walk out. Uh -huh. Nobody yeah. walked out. Mm -hmm. People were what people were trooping in, talking mm. of hundreds of people. Mm -hmm. So uh, people people pass comments. People will say, "Get yeah, out!" They over here, say nasty things to you. If you mm -hmm. say, "And and Jesus uh, went to Galilee. We didn't go to Galilee. We went to we went to uh, <laughs> Miami." You know. <laughs> And you're right, but some people are like, even in the mall way, in the mall way in Nigeria. Some people will say, Go that can be what you bad word in here. I like that, you know, say what they say, but there'll be one person, yes, yeah. mm. God help us in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Praise the Lord, hallelujah. hallelujah. So, no matter how, we should just preach the gospel, no matter how, no matter anyhow, anywhere, anyhow, anytime. Just Anytime, okay. tea, anywhere, just go and do. Long, long, so now, only go and do. As long as you are not violating the government's law, uh -huh. you know the law of the land. Yeah, I remember. I remember about two years ago when we had some uh, guests from Nigeria. They wanted. They were asking me questions. Ah, mommy princess, how do we preach here? Ah, they said there are laws here. I said, let's go. Let's go. The only thing they will tell you is, no, I'm not interested. I don't play that crap. I don't do that shit. Excuse me. But just go. Just you know, so put on, but no, but no, but welcome, Elki Nikoche, Mo, but I said, go to another place. Go ye into the world, Luluaso. Yes, yeah, sister, Anu, you're raising your hand. Um, yes, ma'am. Um, this might be um an alcohol of something. That's low nine sixteen, no. So. Uh, yes, sir, no. <laughs> my question. Oh my God, her network uh -oh. again. <laughs> Sister, I know. In the meantime, I just want us to look at the, the book of the Daniel, Daniel 12, verse uh, 3 and 4. So uh, it's, a, it's a scripture that, uh, uh, that we can. Uh, we can memorize and, and pray about. It says, uh, verse 3, it says, Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens. And those who lead many to righteousness will, will shine like the stars forever and ever. So I want us to pray that Father, make us Amen. shining stars for you in the name of make Jesus. As we embark on this journey, my Father, my God, the grace to shine for you from today, from tonight. Father, give unto us in the name of Jesus. 
the grace to shine like the the grace to be shining stars for you as an individual as a family ah, as a ministry Yeshua, give us, release multiple grace upon us. In the mighty name of Jesus, make us shine for you. Make the whole world see you in us in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And there's a prayer point that Daddy said we should, we should pray. Daddy says, Father, as I go out to preach your gospel, don't let anything discourage me. In the mighty name of Jesus, prayer. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, as I go out preaching your gospel, don't let anything discourage me in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't let anything discourage us because we are called to preach the gospel. Go ye into the world. It is a command. It is a, it is a command and it is a declaration by the word of God that we should go ye into the world. Anyhow, anywhere, any, anytime. Father, give us the grace. Give us the grace. The, the, uh, the, the disciples of the old, they did the gospel until they met their, 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 their dead, until they, they died. Father, give us the grace and let us say, Father, give us, give us uh, strength, and strengthen us, empower us, give us good health and sound mind. That we will preach the gospel according to your prompt. Holy Spirit, empower us. Give us good, good health, sound mind. Give us a sound mind, good health, good body. Let our body will not decay. We will stand to do, to do the gospel, even in our old age, in the order of Peter, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Sister Anu, are you back? Yes, ma'am. Okay. But uh, ma, this the time has been first spent already. Yeah. That's, yes. Yeah. Let's let's round up. Yes. yes. Uh, are we able to um, sing our song, the hymn, or do we just round up? We can just round up and let Anu say what she wants to say. Okay, Anu, say what what you want to say. Um. Okay. Um. I so. Uh, so I think I partially got my answer from what you said, Ma. So my question was going to be based off of what you said, Ma. Um, what the scripture that you quoted that you quoted that when men do not receive the words that you speak, mm -hmm. you just take your slippers, dust it, and go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So my like, like it was so what you, what you now said about the fact that even when men do not receive your doctrine, if you still keep on preaching, it was partially contradicting so i, wanted I was to, just going to say uh, that yeah i wanted to clarify that okay ma what do we do specifically no so well we, you need to explain yourself better what does it contradict um ma it's 9 20 um so what basically i was thinking that since you said we should leave mm -hmm. and go somewhere else mm -hmm. how is it possible that we still keep on preaching in that same location for example um well um, okay, let's take for example, Ma, you said of a mall. You go to a mall, mm -hmm. and when you go there, there are this group of people. Maybe they come every Sunday, every Wednesday, Thursday, and every time they see you, they're like, don't you listen? Okay. okay. Hey, so I know I get what you're saying. Let me just come in here. Now, the mall is a public place. Mm -hmm. Okay. If the management of the mall comes to you and says you should leave, you leave. Absolutely. What Jesus was saying in that scripture, you go to somebody's home or you go mm -hmm. to a city. That's what he said. It is not your city. It's not your town. If they do not want you there, you leave. You shake your sandals and leave. So you get, have, have, is your answer, I mean, have I answered you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So that's it. Okay. It's like you are coming to my house. You want to come and preach to me like the Jehovah Witness. And I slam my door. I say, I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear anything from you. You won't stay there. Then you go and knock on another door. You just keep on doing okay. it. Keep on going. Some people will reject you. Some people will, will accept you. I need to go. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So let us share the grace. Atikoja, you are leaning. Jesus Christ, the love of God. 
and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and his mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you all. Thank you, everybody. And we want to thank all our online families. Thank you for hanging out with us. We hope that that has blessed you one way or the other. Uh, please always join us. Bear with us. We had uh, questions upon questions from our our generation to uh, tomorrow. So, and they, they, they always share, you know, good word with us in with great insights we thank god for that we will see you again please always join us um today is um friday so we see on uh on sunday at 6 p.m and our bible study continues our instagram program continues join us and your life will never remain the same once again this is shekinah world a product of Shekinah International Ministries, where we are educated, we are empowered, and we are enlightened by the word of God, which God has done for us tonight. Hallelujah. God bless you. If you suppose you have not given your life to Jesus, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Oh, please, any life without Christ is a life of crisis. May your life will not be full of crisis in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. And See you some other time. Bye. Amen. Amen. Bye. Good, night, Amen. Good, night, Good night, darling. God bless you. Good night, Good okay. Night. Good Bye. You too. Bye. Mm -hmm. Good, night, Good night, my dear. I could share. Welcome to All right. See you. Mm -hmm. Product of Shekinah International Ministries. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh. Bible study tomorrow. Oh, okay. Then uh, you can, uh, you can, uh, you can, uh, you can, uh, me, me, free. me, I can talk. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 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 See, blessing, no, by Welcome to our Bible study. Me, oh, blessing, yeah. Tilo. Blessing, Nilo, Lord, God, Jesse. So, uh, show, 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 yeah. Ah, I must stop, really.